Hello guys, welcome sa ating panibagong video tutorial. Ngayon magsusolve tayo ng problem under sa topic na analysis and design of beams. So yung problem natin, a rectangular beam has B equals 250mm, D equals 330mm, FY equals 414 MPa, F' prime C equals 20.7 MPa. Determine the maximum design moment if the beam is singly reinforced and the required steel area if the beam is required to carry a dead load moment of 50 kNm and a life load moment of 30 kNm use 2001 NSCP So una sa lahat, kailangan muna natin isulat yung mga given So nasulat ko na So yung B or yung width ng ating beam is 250mm Yung effective depth niya na 330mm Yung F sub Y or yung uh, strength which is 414 megapascal yung F prime C yan yung compressive strength ng ating concrete which is 20.7 MPa so since 2001 yung ating ginamit na NACB yung beta 1 nya is equal to 0.85 since yung beta 1 nya is uh, less than 30 MPa and then uh, yung dead load nya which is 50 kNm and yung live load is 30 kN. So, that is for part B ng ating problem. So, since nasulat na natin lahat ng mga given, then we're going to proceed sa solution. So, yung hinahanap natin sa problem is yung uh, maximum design moment or yung V MN max and yung B is yung uh, required steel area na nagkakarga ng dead load and, mo and live load which is AS. So, first dito muna tayo mag-focus sa Uh, question A yung kanyang maximum design moment so first natin isosolve is yung raw balance so yung raw balance may formula na ganito since yung FC prime at yung beta 1 at yung FY is may value na sa ating given so pwede natin yan agad i-plug in sa ating formula and then makukuha natin na yung raw balance is equals to is equals to 0.02138 And then, pwede natin ma-solve yung kanyang raw max, which is equals to yung raw max natin is equals to 0.01603 After ng raw max, pwede natin ma-solve yung kanyang omega max So, yung formula niya is equals to raw times Fy over Fc prime So, yung gagamitin natin raw is yung raw max since yung problem hinahanap yung maximum design moment So therefore, hindi natin gagamitin yung raw balance kundi hanapin natin yung uh, instead gagamitin natin yung kanyang raw max na isasubstitute natin sa formula ng omega max para maging para ma-maximize natin yung value. So ito na siya na plug in na natin and using your calculator, yung omega max is equals to is equals to 0.3206 and then pwede na natin ma-solve yung RN equals to F prime C multiply sa omega max quantity 1 minus 0.59 multiply sa omega max so i-plug in na lang natin yung manakuha nating values and makukuha natin na yung RN is equals to 5.38111 mega pascal so since nakarap na natin yung RN and given naman sa kanina sa problem yung B at D so pwede na natin masolve yung maximum nominal moment so substitute lang natin So, ito na yung maximum nominal moment natin. So, remember, uh, naka Newton millimeter yung units natin dito. Therefore, yung magiging product nito is i-divide natin sa 10 raised to power of 6 para makuha natin yung kilo Newton meter na unit ng ating maximum nominal moment. Okay? So, since nakuha na natin yung maximum nominal moment niya, pwede na natin mahanap yung kanyang uh, ultimate moment capacity. So, i-multiply lang natin yan by V equals 0.9 using 2001 NACP so multiply natin ito by 0.9 makukuha natin yung VMN max is equals to 131.85 kN meter so minultiply natin siya ng, ng reduction factor na 0.9 so ito na yung magiging maximum design moment ng ating beam kung singly reinforced so ito na yung answer for part A now proceed tayo sa part B so recap lang yung prop yung question sa part B is yung required steel area 
kung yung beam natin ay magkakarga ng dead load na 50 kNm and yung live load moment na 30 kNm. So, yung MU is equals to 1.4 dead load plus 1.7 live load. So, yan yung uh, formula for 2,000 man NECP. So, isubstitute natin yung mga value natin. Yung DL palitan natin ng 50 at yung live load palitan natin ng 30. Then, yung MU natin is equals to So, yung MU natin is equals to 121 kilonewton meter. So, kung manotice natin, yung maximum design moment ng ating beam for problem A or for question A is 131.85. And once na kinargahan natin ng dead load and live load, yung value ng MU natin is 121 kilonewton meter. So, which is, this value is mas konti sa ating pinaka- ultimate moment. So, therefore, it is less than mn max. So, meaning, kaya, kaya ng beam natin, this is yung ganitong moment. So, meaning, it is singly reinforced. Ito, mas solve natin yung value ng Rn using mu equals 121 kilonewton meter. So, ito. So, as you notice, minultiply ko siya ng 10 raised to 6 para ma-convert natin yung kilonewton meter into newton millimeter. And then, makukuha natin na yung Rn is equals to 4.938278 megapascal. Then, pwede na natin ma-solve yung kanyang row using the formula. Substitute lang natin yung mga value for F prime C, Fy, and yung Rn natin gagamitin this time is yung value nito. So, using your calculator, yung row actual natin is equals to is equals to 0.01435 and then lastly, uh, para masolve natin yung uh, required area ng steel. So, yung row natin gagamitin is yung row actual. Okay? So, substitute natin. So, AS is equals to 0.01435 yung B natin which is 250 is 300 330 so using our calculator yung AS natin is equals to 1183.88 mm squared or rounding off na lang uh, this equals to 1184 mm squared so, ito na yung magiging answer natin for uh, question B So, summing up, so ito na yung mga nakuha nating answer for this kind of problem. So, that's all for today guys and thank you for watching and God bless.